it's your girl Kristen and today we're gonna be cooking so I just got off work I'm about to get out this jacket because it's been a long day but I'm cooking one of my favorite meals and I realized I never have made this on the channel okay y'all the way I totally forgot that I did this three months ago so we're just gonna do it again because this is like one of my favorite things to cook but I totally forgot that we did this before so this is just gonna be a cook with me and I'm gonna have the recipe below if you haven't tried it yet <laughs> so we're gonna do a little bit of a vlog style cook with me and we'll be making bourbon chicken this is such an easy but tasty recipe so we're gonna share this with you guys today this is a 30 minute meal as well so if you're looking for something you can do relatively quickly when you get off of work or when you're just looking for something quick and fast and in a hurry that's tasty this is gonna be the recipe for you I'm gonna show you the ingredients that you're going to need because you do have some things that you need however once you get these ingredients you'll be good for a really long time they last you a super 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 long time so with no further ado let's get into it let me show you guys what you're going to need to get started as well as if you need the recipe and you want to just follow along to that later on I will have a link in the description box for you alrighty so you need this recipe calls for two pounds of chicken so I've got two packs but I've got a lot of people here today we got the twins we have Brian's daughter Amana Brian is here and my oldest son Arius so I got a lot of chicken just because I'm not sure exactly how much everybody's gonna want to eat so this is my chicken we also have a little bit of chicken broth I got some garlic and this is the kind I like to get because I told you guys I don't have a lot of time so we're not gonna be mincing garlic today and I just keep this because I eat a lot of garlic and I use a lot of recipes that call for it and then we also will be using a little bit of extra virgin olive oil some soy sauce some cornstarch red pepper crushed red pepper that is some ground ginger Uncle Ben's because I like to put mine with a little bit of rice and then you're gonna need some ketchup because yes the recipe calls for ketchup <laughs> okay you guys will be proud of me I finally have an apron so I'm gonna put my little apron on so I don't mess up my clothes make it official <laughs> cooking with Kristen is real <laughs> It's official right there, baby. <laughs> okay, when I tell you guys how easy this meal is, you're really about to flip out. Like, it's so easy. There's no excuse why any of you cannot cook this meal. I'm gonna walk you through it, but it's basically two steps. Like, two steps. Cook the chicken, heat up the ingredients, let it simmer, boil. It's gonna, like, turn into a sauce. You do that for a while. I'm gonna tell you exactly how long once we get rolling. And then you add your chicken back, you got your broth, you're good to go. Like, it's so easy. There's no excuse not to try this recipe, and I promise I promise you, I promise you, it is so, so delicious. So I have my skillet. This is my little flat skillet I like to use and it's just easy. I can get all my food in here and I like the consistency, the way that it cooks the chicken. So this is what I'm going to be using. I do not know the brand. Maybe it says it on here. Okay, yes it does. Let's flip this over. The brand is by Letty. I think that's how you say that. <laughs> I got this at Kroger. So this is what I'm working with. I really like this. I actually am tempted to go back and get some of the other pieces from their line because this is a really, really nice skillet. So I'm gonna be getting this skillet together. We're going to go ahead and turn it on and get my oil, which I have a little helper. Brian is gonna be doing the chicken because I don't like touching meat. <laughs> He's gonna get the chicken together, get it washed, you know, get it cut up because I don't like cutting chicken either, touching it, none of that. He's always my guinea pig when it's time to do that just because it's not my favorite thing, I just have to admit. Brian, you were watching TV. What were you up there doing? Yeah. Oh, okay, because I didn't think you were excited to come down here. <laughs> well, thanks for helping me, baby. Mm-hmm. He says, mm-hmm. Okay, so my skillet is heating up, so I better hurry up and add my oil. And we're just gonna put a little oil in there. Okay, so I'm going to start my rice. I got it poured in the little measuring cup. And like I said, I'm doing Uncle Ben's tonight. But you can do whatever kind of rice you like. This just happens to be my favorite. And I'm doing six servings which calls for one and a half cups of rice and three and one third cup of water and one tablespoon of butter <laughs> so pretty much you just combine the rice water and butter in the pan and then you put you bring it to a boil reduce the heat remove from heat and let it stand for five minutes and it takes about 20 minutes to cook Look at what Arius got me, y'all. These are nice. Look at them, they clean. Ooh, look at the, the sole. That's cute. The all white boy would have been cute too, but I'm feeling these. Wait. That's nice. What y'all think of these shoes? Tell me what you think. Comment below. 
Okay guys, so just like I told you a second ago, this last step is super, super easy. Basically you take the chicken out, which I've already done, and you add all the rest of the ingredients to the skillet. You're going to let it simmer for like 20 minutes, and then you put your chicken back in, and bam, you have bourbon chicken. It's so easy, delicious, so, so, so delicious, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the this last part rolling. I'm also gonna put some vegetables in the microwave because this is like my favorite. Let me just show y'all. These are my favorite, favorite, favorite vegetables when I'm like in a hurry trying to make dinner. So I'm gonna throw those in there and then I also am going to put some grains in the oven because I know the kids are gonna want some biscuits and it's gonna fill them up too. So let me get rolling, get the rest of the stuff on and I will talk to you guys after. Are we lost? Are we not? Are we real? Are we turning to dust? Do you feel what I feel? Have we changed so damn much? Can we hear? basically it says once you get it going on a little boil you add your chicken back and I have a lot of chicken and I'm sitting here looking like I probably am going to need to do another batch so I'm gonna do this first batch this is I would say a little bit more chicken than the recipe calls for right here but I also put more seasonings and ingredients than the recipe called for too so I'm gonna put a little bit more chicken but then I think I'm gonna have to do another batch after this so I've been doing this so long, I eyeball everything, but I will, like I told you guys, I'm gonna have the ingredients in the description box and the recipe that I use. I actually also earlier mentioned that I was gonna use chicken broth, but I didn't end up doing that. So yeah, this is going to come back to a boil, and then once you do that, you let it cook for a little while, and you're ready to go after that. We just want the sauce to thicken up a little bit, because right now it's a little thin. But I promise you guys, this is so delicious. It's really, really tasty and you're absolutely going to love it. Okay, so it's boiling now, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down and then we're gonna let it simmer for 20 minutes. Okay, it's almost done, you guys. It's starting to thicken up. I have like three more minutes and then it'll be ready to serve. Looks delicious, doesn't it? I wish you guys could smell how good it smells. That brown sugar you put in there, it makes all the difference. Like all these ingredients mixed together makes a perfect, perfect mixture of an amazing, amazing flavor. Okay guys, this is what my plate is looking like. Looks super, super delicious. Just waiting on my roll though, cause I don't wanna eat my food without my roll. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it out the oven and then it'll be time to smash. Y'all, why is this so fire? I think I put a lot of red pepper in mine though. It's kind of spicy, but it's good. Is it too spicy for you? What'd you say? No. It's good. It do have a little kick though. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Very, very delicious, you guys. The brown sugar, fabulous. So good. So, I'm not gonna belabor the point. This is the end of the video. Definitely try this recipe. Two thumbs up from me. I'm assuming two thumbs up from him too, because he's quiet. So if you do decide to try this, please come back and let me know what you think. I always wanna know if you guys like the recipe, so come back, let me know. Let me know when you're gonna try it. Let me know what your family thinks, all that. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button and just let me know you're still rocking with the cooking videos. But with that, you guys, I'm gonna see you in the next upload. So I appreciate you as always for checking this video out and for watching it all the way to the end. You are the real MVP right now. And if you're a newbie to my channel, subscribe so you don't miss any of the content in the future. <laughs> but with that, you guys, it's kinda late. I have a lot of stuff to do before I go to bed. So I will see you in my next upload. Bye. Take it to my face. Are we not? Are we real? Are we turning to dust? Do you feel what I feel?